Hi, this is Frank with Motorsportsland here in Salt Lake City. Uh, we're looking at a great little walk around on this 2100 bunkhouse made by Winnebago uh, towable trailers. I'm going to start off by looking at this side where you're normally sitting and looking at the sunset. Um, vast awning, electric awning that we have set up here it covers almost the whole coach with the LED lighting up underneath there, which really brightens this this uh, up without any kind of con condensed lighting. LED lighting less draw on the batteries great features to light up everything out here you have your two outdoor weatherproof speakers as you can see the uh, winnebago really prides itself in the the high gloss gel finish on the outside around the whole coach we're going to do a, a walk around starting off with your tires it's a dual axle aluminum alloy rims um, great base suspension and you're talking about a really solid base structure that winnebago prides itself on <clears throat> Coming out here, we have our tank fill-up location. This will give you 31 gallons of fresh water. Up here we have the handle that actually will draw away, give you stability for walking into the coach, and we'll lock your door in after you're closed up and done for the road trip. Walking up to your storage up on front here, you can see we have through storage, a pretty good size through storage, and it's also aluminum structure framing Aluminum caging throughout the whole thing as we could see through here, which makes it that 37, just a little above 3,700 pounds for dry weight. Easy pulling, don't need the great big trucks to pull this one. As we have our aerodynamic roof, as you can see, leads up to our TPO roof, which is on top, which a, a quick explanation of TPO roofing. They offer a 10, 12, and 15 year warranty on some of these roofs. Uh, depending on um, what manufacturer, but they all use it. It's a rubber and, and fiberglass uh, combined structure that's seamless all the way across the top that really just is a solid, solid uh, across the industry roof for a lot of trailers. Um, but Winnebago prides itself on using that. Propane, a little capture with an easy hatch attachment so you can reach in and open up your propane without having to take um, that whole box off. We have electric winch, LED light, and uh, up and down, very smooth, very easy to use. LED light is really nice for some night uh, hookups. Coming around this side again, we do have a solar hookup that actually trickle charges your batteries. You can get a 105 watt here at Motorsportsland and actually sells them and plug right in and you can actually trickle charge your batteries as you're enjoying the day out on the hike. Coming around again, we do have a, a good little dinette slide, which we will see on the inside. A solid structure worm gear drive system that actually front top and bottom on both sides that really makes that powerful. This is a really nice access hatch for your storage to get into your storage for your bunks. Now it's saying there's a 2100 bunkhouse, so we do have two bunks and we'll see in the inside, but this does flip up, latch up out of your way and brings this whole aspect in here for full storage. And if you do need the bed afterwards, bring your stuff out, drop the bed back down and there you go. 30 amp service. We have our 30 amp service hookup for power. We have our satellite hookup, part cable hookup, which satellite and cable TV goes right into the coach and plugs into your TV. Your Santa flush right here, which is your big sprinkler head that just swishes that water up in your black tank and flushes everything right out. Really good necessity on this here so we don't have that stagnant water sitting in there for a couple of weeks until your next trip. Here we have a roof access ladder. I uh, believe the weight's about 300 pounds on that, and it is a walkable roof. So we entice people to get up there a couple times a year to go and check around their vents, anything to do pre preventive maintenance. Outside shower gives you a little bit of a wash down before you enter your coach. Full size spare tire. <clears throat> Coming around the front again, small little aspects, but these little spouts that come off and wash your water away from a storm and doesn't interrupt your seals or anything on your outside or bring dirt and, and whatnot down there from a storm. Uh, basic little things, good to show. We have our leveling systems, which are a drop down. They're gonna be a manual leveling system or, and really not leveling, but a stabilizing jacks for your coach. Your ventilations that we have here for your heating system. Uh, this is your fridge condenser, little hose, drip that water away from everything inside. We do have your cable TV and one tent out here 
to actually have a backer location where you can put a mount and have another TV set up right here and enjoy that up under your awning. Let's go inside and check the inside out. We're going to start back at the back of the coach here. Just quickly showing you, we got it's a six cubic foot refrigerator, a good size freezer, we have a standard microwave, your stove, and it does have an oven in here as well. This is uh, for, for a little additional counter space. We can go ahead and pull this down over the stove, gives you a little bit more for sandwich making. And inside here we have the good size little restroom, gives you a little more room without any vanity in here and just a toilet and shower. Kind of just uh, sets up what you need for a good, good clean. As we go back to here, I left the pillow up just so you can see how this would actually appear with the bed up. So we push the pillow back down. You can see it through storage. We also have an access storage little hatch through the bottom to get any accessories that you might leave and leaves you two beds. Up here we do have a USB port, phone system. Everything in the coach for lighting is LED lighting, which really does save a lot on your batteries. Keep on considering that for the LED makes a huge difference. Dual stainless steel sink. We have a small little 14 inch TV. And of course, our dinette that does turn into a bed. Take out the posts, drop this down, and these straps actually keep this table when travel nice and secure. But that will drop down to a bed, slides together, comes up for a nice, probably about a nice little under a double size bed. And we do have the queen bed. It sits, not a walk around, good size, good mattress that comes with them, which really uh, is a comfort zone. And then you have your over the cabinet storage. And once again, we do have air conditioning and heating in this unit. It's, I believe it's a 12,500 BTU air conditioner. Um, your stereo system, DVD player, this is all Bluetooth for the outside. So you want to play some music and change it while you're sitting around the fire. Nice little feature. Well guys, my name is Frank and we'd love to have you come down to your motorsports land and walk the lot and let us help you get away. <laughs>